Brought to you by the Odd Pod Squad. Comedy, music, reviews, news, history, current affairs, and much more. See more from the home of all your Odd Podcasters on Twitter at Odd Pod Squad. Hello and welcome to another episode of Never A Straight Answer, the podcast that aims to cover a wide range of topics from conspiracy theories to popular culture and news. I'm Gaz and joined in the bunker, as always, he's finally on Twitter, Taylor. Yeah. Yeah. How's it going, bro? Yeah. Oh, fucking hell, calm it. Vivacious. Finally, finally did it. Yeah, finally. If you've um, not already, um, go and hook hook up with Taylor on yeah. on the Twitter. Taylor I think. at uh, NASA. Taylor at NASA, NASA one. one. Yeah. And at as in the word at eighty. Yeah, defo. Go and check Spaces him out. As well. Yeah. Um. It's how has your week been? Actually. Pretty boring, really. Really, I've had a bit, bit of a boring week, but it's also been my birthday. Yeah, so, yeah, like, I, I, birthday, cheers, man. Um, I didn't have so much of a boring week. I had a quite a chilled week. Yeah. Just that was what I wanted. I just wanted to do nothing. So, and yeah, I did I pretty know. much that. Um, yeah. Well, when um, where we we went out shooting on Wednesday, didn't we? Well, you sort of say that. <laughs> <laughs> did tell you what he does. We tried right? to. So, like, I mean, no, no, no fucking thing. Disrespect. Thanks for you know. Yeah, no, a heads up. Man, yeah. Um, but it was pretty comical. Yeah. So like, uh, he's gone right. Yeah, we're going. Um, we're going target shooting. Like, fancy it on Wednesday. So I was like, yeah, we're up for that. Yeah. Um, sweet. So yeah, like, he was right. Pick you up and all that. So was buzzing. Um, he arrives. He says uh, we can't go shooting. Uh, he's forgot, got no bullets. Yeah, we've got got, to go to the shop. got, got no BBs. Yeah. Got no pe- uh, many pellets. So, so like. Went to the shop. No shops open where we can get yeah, any. Yeah, the shop was supposed to have been open, but twice in the last two weeks I've gone there for ammo. So we didn't get the goodies. Didn't have no. We didn't have no. Food. We had well, to drive a about. Bit left, but but I'll keep it was all right. Got me out of the house for a bit. Yeah. Sound like actually I'm like one of these fucking what's it? Mentalists who has to stay in. Well, yeah. <laughs> Also, your decisions. <laughs> joined in the studio as um, for not for been here while, for a while, yeah. you know, um, Mr. Mike. Eh? How's yeah, it going, bro? Mike, Say hi, yeah. Hi. How's it bad. going, man? Good. <laughs> what have you been up to? Coming off my bike. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I heard about yeah. this. I say you're more of a demic than me. Yeah. It's I'm like right, every time I hear you from you, you hurt yourself. Foot and then they're like, oh no, no, it's just just soft tissue. Oh, right, so you just basically, like, w- Race yourself. winged yeah. yourself. <laughs> I had one of them stupid boots on for two days. Yeah, same they picture, me man, that you sent me. And I was like, no, the minute he said I was okay, I was like... Yeah, yeah. that's me, that. It's like, I'd probably take it off early. Do you know what I mean? I've never actually broke a leg. I broke a bone in my body, to never be honest. Bro- same, man. Broke never broke. This permanently touch wood uh, yeah touch wood and people say oh hand, they say that you know oh well you know you've just not you've not lived and whatever you know you've not took that took that many risks I and think it's, it's like, the milk it's not it's I not like milk trust me um, I, I fucking took risks as a kid yeah. and I was just like you know I just landed better I think yeah. <laughs> I yeah. think I was a bit more observant I in my landings lucky I think you call it what yeah, yeah. lucky, lucky. Yeah. No, oh, we, we, had friends, we had friends in school who literally came lucky. back after every every half term break with a plaster cast on yeah do you oh, know yeah. what I mean They're same guys person. it was always the same guys yeah 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 yeah. there was literally t- a, set, a, a set of lads in our school they the testers for the rest of the people to do it well yeah other than that and um, what else what else have been up to um watched a lot of films did a bit of chilling dust yeah. on a bit of this that, and the other um been been a good week we've got quite a lot to get through this week um yeah. it's actually a really interesting topic as well well fucked up weird one i'll give you that would you say he was fucked up and weird well i don't know because i was i've been watching what at least one person on this and he's been giving me the information the way I, I could swallow it better. Yeah, of course, yeah, because it's right. the difficult parts to it. Now, this well. this topic, um, it was something that we were, I was looking into and yeah, thinking it, it could be... Um, oh, it's. Have you ever heard that sort of... Um, it, uh, everyone attributes it to, to kind of an American American ideal. That yeah, if I can you, see that. If you want something... 
um, hard you enough, on. and you go yeah. out and you can go out and get it, and yeah. you can make those dreams a reality. Yeah. Right. Well, if you know, some people kind of use it's not exactly said like that, but they could kind of attribute that to what people call chaos magic. Yeah. Yeah. And um, that's tonight's episode. That's what we're going to be talking about a bit later on. Oh, yeah. Um, it is an in-depth topic. And, I mean, yeah. it's like I wanted to kind of look into it. Uh, you'd never heard of it. No. Um, so I thought... But what I got out of it was, you know what? It, if it, it works, but you can't... Yeah. You can't it, one of the rules is say, you know, you've got to kind of um, do it yourself. The proof's yeah. in the pudding. You know, don't, and I've don't started ask it. me. Try it yourself. I'm testing it out now because I've just started it. Have I you? started it yesterday, yeah. Ooh. Yeah. He's doing a bit of chaos. I'm doing a bit of chaos. See what happens, man. Uh, yeah, but like, well, that's what we'll, we'll go into it. I mean, we've got yeah. kind of a lot of info. Um, we'll try and make a bit of sense of it. Because, if it can like work, say, sense it's one of those so- uh, topics that um, it can be quite confusing and there's a lot of kind of different interpretations. So jump. we'll kind of go over the most popular stuff. Yeah. Um, and yeah, and the best way we can explain it to you. <laughs> Couple of dummies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, we've like, had. We've, we'll see what happens. Yeah. yeah, you might get a kick out of it, and you might you might learn something. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah. we've definitely learned something. Yeah, on this definitely. Week. Um, well, also we've got plenty of news to get through. Yeah, so we um, we do you want to crack on with that? Let's crack on with the news. Okay, dokie. It's a news. Bob the Builder lost his hammer. What? <laughs> Bob the Builder is this, lost is his this hammer. Is this straight in with a fucking headline story <laughs> here? He was like, right, I've got to get this one in quick. Yeah. Bob the Builder's <laughs> fucking lost his hammer. Yeah. What? You don't is know this, where he's left it. Well, do you know what he needs to do? He needs to get himself over to see that Itra, that Dwarf King guy, yeah. get him to build him a new one, like a, no, a new Stormbreaker. Being key might be able to get through for a Stormbreaker style hammer. He, that's what Far did when he lost his. Yeah, but it's a, it's a bit of a distance, isn't it? What, you know what to mean? go to get a new hammer? Yeah, you might as well go, like, you know, quick no, Come on, come on, stop fucking about. What, what's happening? What's the story? Okay, go, okay. Well, do you remember um, a while ago? I didn't really realise Bob the Builder was still going, to be honest. And is, is, are these the lengths that they're going to to kind of, like, zhuzh up the fucking, uh, the, you know, the schedule? They're like, right, um, what's Bob up to this week? Yeah. Um, we'll, 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 can we have him in a bizarre love triangle with one <laughs> of the fucking um, equipment and his bird? I'm insane. No. Fuck knows, yeah, can we bring in Fireman yeah, Sam from a different Pat. from a different you know, show to kind of a, do a crossover, yeah. a shared universe, if yeah. you like, yeah, with Postman Pat, yeah. Fireman Sam, um, um, Bob uh, the Builder. Family, 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 family yeah, guy. Fuck, family <laughs> guy aren't involved, right? But these three, you know, you could totally do a Postman Pat crossover, yeah. right? Um, you know, is this where they've sunk, that they've gone, right, this week? They're sink as low he, as he's, he's losing his ammo. Yeah, he's lost his ammo. Right, go on. Give me the story. Uh, no, that's it. That's it. He's lost his. That's hand. not a story. Oh, no, yeah. Story, it's not, you, is it? Really? You, you crept in with right as soon as the news music finished yeah. with that one, right? Yeah. Straight away, boned himself into there. Right, went. Da, 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 da. Got a story for you here. Guess what? He's lost his hammer. I didn't whoa, say it was whoa, story. Whoa, whoa, I just said like uh, he lost his hammer. Right. Well, we've just wasted ten minutes on that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's no details. He doesn't, come, he doesn't come with details. That's Why? the thing. Are you getting frustrated now because you don't know the details about Bob no, the Builder not. losing his ammo? All right, never mind. You, oh, well. You well, you know, remember that crater? You remember that's supposed to be uh, a meteorite that hit the moon like millions of years ago and there's a big, like, solid Let object guess, underneath it? It was his ammo. Uh, no, but his ammo was on the side. Right, sure. Yeah, go on. <laughs> be serious now. Right. So, as yeah. best you can. Right, it's been confirmed now. That uh, because so many scientists and that were saying that it was a big meteorite that did it like millions of years ago. Now they've checked this out. I don't know how they've done it in certain details, and they are now posit- positively proven that is not a meteorite that hit it. Go so on, they it? still don't know what it is. They're still scratching their heads, but they definitely now know that it wasn't a meteorite. Are we talking what killed the dinosaurs here? No, we're talking what hit the moon. The, there's a big object oh, right, underneath yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, Massive okay. iron-like core. And well, they like... already said it's, it's hollow, and that iron yeah. that iron they're hitting could be like what's just underneath that moon dust. Oh, yeah. Because that, that, the, the, the surface of the moon could just be like that because of over millions of years yeah. of shit yeah. landing on it, like yeah. bits, bits and bats. Well, you know always I mean? get, well, look at the amount of craters that are on that. It gets hit all the time. 
It's like Jupiter. It's one of our like safety nets. Jupiter. Yeah. So 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 what are they saying now? So I the, don't know. I don't believe that. The pr- because uh, I think you've got a couple of different theories going on at well, once. Well, yeah, here. but one of the theories is that it. Uh, one of the theories has been concluded that it's not a theory no more, and it's not a fact. It's not that hollow. It was it wasn't hit by a meteorite. Right. It definitely wasn't hit by a meteorite, basically what they're saying. Okay. So we've definitely got one of them theories out of the way. So what and was it? And now they're going to concentrate on the other theories. So what was it that hit it? Well, they still don't know. They're still working on it. But okay. But one of the theories is definitely gone now. Maybe it just bounced off us. Uh, well, supposedly it, it smashed into us, didn't it? And like, Well, maybe that's it. what it was. Yeah. Yeah, but the way it was, the mm, I don't know, because it, it, it'd be the way that the uh, it should have formed, and it shouldn't have formed with that on the side. And if it did have that on the like the, the dark side of the moon, it should have lent more down at the bottom. There's different there's different reasons why it couldn't have been stuff it's just changed, stuff moves and sh- naturally shifts. So, but I mean, it, like you say, it's quite interesting that you know it's like we're at a stage in where we can look at. You know, even impact craters and say, yeah. right, we'll work our way backwards now. Yeah. Do you know, and check out what we think it was that could have hit. Yeah, basically, of let's years prove ago. what actually this is instead mm. of going, oh, this is a theory, and then settling with it. Give us evidence and uh, make make it more clearer. I've got a couple of stories like this tonight, though. Yeah, um, it's actually quite a lot of weird weird going on in the world this oh, week. Oh yeah, always. Um, have you heard this story? Right, um, it's. Do you remember a couple of years ago there was this fad of people dressing up like clowns? Yeah, yeah, and yeah, scaring right. scaring everyone and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, right. Well, there's um, a load of parents um, that are hiring a clown now. What the, the? Basically, this um, they've got a clown called Wrinkles. Wrinkles? Um, yeah, the clown parents hire to terrify their misbehaving children. Oh, shit. So Wrinkles first started appearing around Florida in 2013 and quickly yeah. became an urban legend. But now there's a new documentary exploring his myth. So, oh, well, um, well, 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 let's, let's get this right. It wasn't a myth because there was plenty of photos. There was plenty of uh, evidence of, like, even people being attacked. You know, by people dressed as clowns oh, right, and yeah. frightening a lot of people, and it was it's, half of it was stupid pranks. The other half were probably fucking nutty. So you know, you, it, I, I couldn't say that it was like. Well, this um, er, well, everyone knows that um, clowns can be scary, and um, this one's been hired out by parents to spook their own kids. Um, Wrinkle the Wrinkles the clown is one <laughs> on well, a new online documentary about a U.S. urban legend of the same name it. that sparked a series of viral videos that apparently was a real-life Pennywise. Um, in 2014, a YouTube page titled HVU Scene Wrinkles posted security camera footage of a child sleeping in their room before the clown silently emerged from under their beds um, and the destroyed the footage. What the fuck? According to um, the descriptions of the video was um, supposedly shot um, in Florida in June uh, 2013, um, and basically the earliest sighting, and that was the earliest sightings of Wrinkles the Clown. Um, the clip okay. has been viewed over 900,000 times as Wrinkles' popularity of as an urban legend grows, um, and more sightings are shared on social media. So, but who is he? Who's, who is this Wrinkles? <sighs> well, Do you know what I mean? But it's crazy that obviously he was in the house on yeah. cer- certain videos, so yeah. obviously the they've been he's been given access to to the the property to yeah. an extent. Do you know what I mean? Well, he doesn't want to. Oh well, yeah. To, well, just imagine these kids in years to come. Like the the if you think about it, there's going to be a sli- if not just a slight um, damage to their um, well being. <laughs> Definitely, you know, yeah. like there's gonna they, some of them are going to have major issues in in, in the future. You have a kid's birthday party. Yeah, Jesus, one of them could end up being a, a one of them could be a clown killer. You know what I mean? If you yeah, start, what if you started? Yeah, yeah you know yeah. what I mean. It, 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 it could start some weird shit going on in the future, and obviously the parents aren't thinking of that kind of shit or yeah. thought about it and gone, ah, it'd be all right in the future. Well, yeah, I, f- I think you know I mean? anyone. I think if you're that sadistic that you do that sort of thing to your kid, yeah, anyway, do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, right, okay, you're going to scare him straight, or is that not too extreme? I'll tell you what. That's that's mortifying I reckon for some people. There is a big chance that could grow in Scotland now. Why? Do you know why? Because they've totally and utterly 
banned slapping kids now. You cannot slap a kid at all. Hey, I can't even slap my kid. You can't, you, hey, no yeah. fucking way. If you slap a kid in Scotland, just tap a kid. You, you're getting assault charges thrown back, on you of abuse what, of a what child. Back in the day, we did something wrong. You wouldn't just get a clip off your mum. Listen, you'd get a clip right? Off your I, neighbor, I haven't got kids yet, right? I, listen, listen, exactly, right? No, I, I haven't got no kids, right? None of none of us here have got kids, right? Nope, but, I don't think so anyway. But right. If my if I had a child, right, and now you can tell me I'm wrong, yeah, and you can leave a comment or whatever, but if I had a child and it had done something that I felt it warranted a slapped ass, yeah, it gets it's one. getting a fucking slapped ass. Totally. I got a slapped ass not when I was in. naughty. Yeah, I'm not giving a beat, not I'm being. not a fucking yeah. child you don't no need to call child line. Tap. It's getting a Tap. slap on the arse, yeah, yeah, so it knows it's in the wrong, yeah, and sent to bed with no I've pudding. Had the bell, yeah, the slipper, right. the had, brick. Same, mate, I had the, fl- yeah. the you slipper know I mean? flung at me across the room. Yeah. You know what I mean? It, sh- it it taught me a bit of respect for my parents. Yeah. Yeah, right. You never hurt me. I, it, just because I go out and kill frogs every well, night, we don't we'll go, we'll go into weird. this a bit later on, because this kind of ties into what we're going to discuss a bit later on with yeah. the main topic. Yeah, yeah, true. Right. Um, in terms of, you know, dogma. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So yeah, we'll we'll get into that a bit later on. Um, have you got any more stories you want to talk about? Uh, I've got another weird one uh, for uh, space again. Well, you I've know, got a few spaces. Plan- science, Planet maybe. X. Yeah. Right. Again. Yeah. Well, there's a, a Durham un- in Durham University. A team has um, tried to work out to see if uh, they can work out what it is and if it is. Nobody knows. X. Now, what you, what could, if this is actually Planet X still coming, like all this disruption? Well, they're saying uh, Planet X may be a black hole that's ten times uh, heavier than the Earth, but the size of a bowling ball on the edge of our the solar size system. Is something else. Yeah, this is what they've come out with. And they're working it out by gamma rays, which when um, stuff goes into the That's black the hole, it throws out. Bruce Banner got soaked in, yeah, and turned yeah. into the Incredible Hulk. So, so it's not, don't mess around with gamma rays, kids. No, it'll kill you, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. A no rays like ain't that. too bad. B rays, yeah, bad, but gamma rays stay the fuck away. But uh, yeah, so there's going to be um, more testing uh, for the theory, but from the conclusions up to now, they reckon it's um, the size of. Um, yeah, uh, the summit. Baseball. It's the size of summit. Small man, basically. It's the size of a small Porsche. Yeah. But it's the size could, of a small camper van. But that could be uh, another reason why the solar system's warming up. Uh, the, all the planets in the solar system are warming up, and that's why we've got our global warming problem. Yeah. Well, I've said this. I think yeah. we're on natural cycles anyway. Yeah. Um, and now, if you, if if you want to argue that this planet X thing's real and that there's something entering our system. It's real. Then that's a natural cycle because it's well, on it's on an elliptical orbit. That's right, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, that's yeah. right. Um, it's just a bigger orbit, yeah. as I understand it. Right. Yeah. So if that's the case, then this is a natural cycle. It's just one that's just not real. We've never actually happened to see. Yeah, 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 know, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's something that's, well, that's no, never we been in it. our lifetime. It, not our lifetime. Not in our hum- lifetime. Humanity's lifetime. Yeah, uh, because it's been uh, written in uh, history. This is the thing that I it it makes me think that it's bullshit. Because um, of all the um, history, like the uh, Sumerians, and from there on, and Sumeria. like, like um, and Napoleon written Napoleon. in his diary and stuff like that, yeah. which makes me think that there has to have been another planet that passed us. Now it doesn't mean that um, that um, this like black holes. Yeah, you've just there. answered your question about the moon there, though, because it's like you know we've got these right. There's evidence to say that there was a planet between Mars and Venus. Yeah. Yeah. There's evidence to say that something hit the moon. Yeah. Right? There's evidence to say something killed the dinosaurs. Yeah. Right? We've got all these things that happened probably around around the same time. Yeah. Right? And, but yet nobody seems to kind of think that this uh, possibility of a, an, a celestial body coming into our system. Yeah. Um, and kind of slingshotting around and then coming back out of uh, on its own orbit its yeah. own um fucking path yeah yeah um that that didn't have anything to do with it do you well, know what i mean this is it. how it's do you know that the our moon isn't history. a remnant of this planet that disappeared many moons ago well yeah exactly. excuse the pun if exactly. that is even a pun and like if, if it's if there's no chance of it being there why is like uh and universities going and looking for it they know there's something there 
but he can't guarantee that it well, is Planet I X. Well, I never. There yeah. you go. So well, Planet X. Yeah, there's another one for the planet. Tick it off the list. Oh, yeah. it, I've got this story here, yeah, right. Um, yeah. You might have heard this in the news. Um, basically, um, a load of black boxes kept three men afloat um, in the ocean, and they all tested positive for cocaine. So basically, um, co- uh, basically, these guys have been um, suspected of drug being drug smugglers, and they were saying they were drowned in by their own supply. They were they were getting by on their own supply. They were just so, finding. So three suspects, <laughs> yeah. um, basically, drug smuggling had been rescued after they were found floating on uh, 1.2 tonnes of cocaine off, Col- off a Colombian coast. Oh, that's a party, that, isn't it? <laughs> and it just, uh, the trio's boat had sunk um, at high seas in the Pacific Ocean. Um, and um, basically, the packages floated. So it was the only Gold reason packing. why they got to... Yeah. yeah, true that, actually. Yeah, yeah, whoever did the packing, they need a... A promotion. You know they're getting knocked um, by someone in the prison. Um, so basically, <laughs> they've the been, um, you know, the trio, basically, the boat had sunk, they, the packages had floated, so they were found uh, by the Colombian army um, some 30 miles off the coast um, and uh, clinging onto their cargo. Well, there's a few people who are going to... Um suffer over that loss of cargo well, I suppose it, might be them. At least it could be them I mean I don't think that they'd go personally do you know with their own cargo oh yeah no they'd send somebody they'd but send some lackeys to save it that's what you can say you can't save it you can't save it you can't save it no 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 yeah no, no, but no. was he saving that they were saving themselves yeah. they weren't saving the cargo and Fuck you say the I was cargo. trying to keep stay, stay with the cargo I was trying to swim it to show you could argue that but the fact if is if he made it he sure. didn't make it so, so sorry, yeah. mate. No, sorry, you're going down, mate. You well, let fo- the sharks have you. Footage of the rescue shows three men surrounded by black boxes, which were later confirmed to contain uh, 1,265 kilograms of cocaine. Jesus. Sweet. Ah. First you get the cocaine. Yeah. <laughs> then you Fuck get the power. Up. Then you get the A lot then of you money. get the life. A lot of money lost there. The rubber rings. A lot of money. Yeah, yeah, so, I mean, anyway... Yeah. They were stranded at sea for at least three hours when they were picked up by um, the Tum- Tumaco Coast Guard unit. Um, so there you go. They've been since um, been charged with drug trafficking and manufacturing narcotics. I busy, think that's a fair day. cop, don't you? Busy day and a lot of paperwork that, for the Tuscaro Coast Guard. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that was a pretty interesting story. I think, to be honest, right, if it was um, the fact that like you say, if it wasn't packed so well, that could have ended up really badly for them. But also, if they managed to just find something else to float on, they could have just got picked up and nothing would have been said about it. That would have been probably they, they the best thing. They would have just been saying, oh, we're from. fishermen. We've... Do you know what? To be fair, what they should have done was just abandon the product at that point. The yeah, boat's but if gone you had down. nothing else, well, yeah, you but only had them as a floater. You'd have to take a list, what, one or two. You'd, you'd find something. You'd, it, a boat, your boat's just sunk. There's got to be something that you can just cling on to rather nah. than a load of boxes of cocaine. Well, no, nah, no, nah, because let's, let's think of it this way. Right, you get picked up like they did with um, shitloads of boxes. Yeah. Of it, yeah. Right, you'll have a lesser charge... If you fucked all that off, got one of the boxes, went off, and then when you get, when you, like the boat's on its way and it's coming to rescue you, there's the fucker. And then you get rid of the products, you've got nothing you can get yeah, done for. Yeah, yeah. And then you've got right. nothing to prove apart from fingerprints or DNA, which in water, depending how long it's been in there, will be uh, gone off the product. So he's scot free. But, you know. Yeah, you know, I didn't think about it. Didn't think about it. What's wrong with ripping the seat out of the boat and using that to fucking... Float? Boat had gone down. Probably wasn't any um, proper seats there. Yeah, but rip some out and use that to float. Them. You're not going to take a luxury uh, boat across, are you, unless you're going to take it back and, like... But that's more suspicious as well. I don't know, some do. Well, yeah, it's true, true. But imagine if it goes under with your products, you've got you've just lost your. You're your, just your you're just thinking of it on a on a stance that you know, like um, what's the boss going to say? And it's like, well, well yeah. unfortunately, I, boss I, is going to do I a bit of murder. My life, I, think. I value my life more than in in more ways than one in in terms of living and in terms of not being incarcerated 
So at the end of the day, mate, the boat's gone down. That's your hard shit. Yeah. yeah. yeah you can't... What are you going to do? I mean, it's like, are you going to you gonna penalise me for the fact that you, Stormy Weathers has took your boat out? Yeah, but if, I've, if I'm the boss and Give I give you a product... Uh, that product doesn't go to its place where I've told you to take fucking it. Fucking hell, I'm glad you I don't work You ain't getting no money, you. and you're going to be missing the next time I see you. No, it's not a case of that. I'd be glad I'm fine. I don't get the money. The job was never completed, but at the end of the day, they can't. You can't. Yeah, but you've you lost know, me. Per- unless occupation. you pay me the money. It's occupational that I've lost. risks, mate. Yeah. It's occupational risks. You you send me out on a boat. Yeah, you to take deliver that job. a product. Yeah, you knew that, right. that job was nah, dangerous. Some, well, if if it's a gangster job, but mate, you might not have had a choice. You might just be like, you know, you, you, everyone has a you're choice. You're delivering it. You're delivering it. You know, I've seen movies. He's still got a choice. I've seen movies. He might have his wife and kids. Yeah, he's still got a choice. Yeah, I've saved my wife and kids. Got to do yeah, the job. Right, shoot me. Done. What? So you take? You so you'd leave your wife and kids in no, the hands of terrorists? No, but that's your choice. That is your choice. Yeah. You've got the choice to. Like oh, this. shut up! Yeah, you have yeah, the choice. No. You're arguing the fucking. I'm you know arguing what? the toss because you have got the choice. Of course you, you don't have. necessarily have to do what they tell you to do. Of course you've got a choice in the matter, but the fact is, yeah, right. What? So, but these 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 complications to your actions. It's like we've yeah. just put you in a scenario yeah, yeah, yeah. there, and you've just cho- said, "Just shoot me then." Yeah. And it's like, well, what are you going right to do? Then. Get the wife and kids to go and drop the cocaine off then? Well, no, but well, no, they're, 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 no, go. they're, they're not going to let them go though because they've just shot you, you and your wife and, your wife and kid. kid. Not necessarily. Well, well they're not going to go. Right, we just shot you, your dad, but like, see you later. They we'll, might we'll, not let, know we'll that. let you off. We'll let they you haven't off. Seen it. Don't tell anyone. And if you do, we'll you know where to well, find you. So about knock them out the back door, right? Fuck off. Don't come back. Ever see you again, you know. You've We're been doing your dad. That's why we kept him. <laughs> I'll slap you under wrist. Yeah. So, yeah. So, there's um, this story that I came across, um, and it was basically um, the Mayan calendars back in the news. Because, again. Again, yeah. Well, do you know in 2012 when there was that period of, like, everybody making movies and stuff yeah. about the Mayan calendar? Yeah. Um, and, you know, the end of the world. And oh, then they were like, no, no, it's just a case of, like, um, the cycle or that yeah. that period, the era's ended. Yeah. And we've got a new one coming up. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, basically, the turning around now, researchers are claiming that these serious problems come in after the new calculations have all come out on the new Mayan calendar. Yeah, because it starts again. Yeah, it says it starts again, and I think there's a period up to 2026. Yeah. So yeah. We're up That's... from now to 2026, we're in that new period. I think it's 13 cycles or something yeah. like that this time. Um, so, yeah. yeah. So Might have to do, do think, with the new... So uh, is it just going to be a case sign. of like, oh, we're going to roll shit our pants again for a couple more cycles, and then it'll go, oh, nothing happened. It's a new era. <laughs> it, uh, you know, I don't think much is going to change apart from, uh, you know, like technology. Yeah, we're going to have some disasters. We're probably going to have more than we've had in the past. Realistically, is the way it's looking like we're getting, you know, warmer, you know, climate change and all this. But... You know, with all this movement at the minute, with all the, um, you know, uh, stop throwing shit in the ocean and, like, look after our animals. We're, kill- we're killing off shitloads of everything. bugs, apparently, as Just well. Just everything. Well, yeah. yeah, because nobody likes bugs. Yeah. So but the problem <laughs> is, yeah, but bugs are, bugs are a part of the, you know... Did the, you know that that is, like, one of the top um, things that ladies put on their dating profiles? What, bugs? Um, yeah, a spider killer wanted... Oh, you know <laughs> what? I can't say wanted. anything. I did a massive one yesterday. Well, Sorry against the wall. Don't do spiders. Or is I, a... Usually, I don't mind them, but like because if I haven't got spider, what else am I going to have? Flies and fucking yeah, exactly. And I, I don't, don't want I mean, that shit. As long as they're not causing me any harm, exactly. and you sit in the corner what and you're quiet, doing is feeding them. As long as it doesn't start pet. playing. As long as it doesn't start playing like fucking. Um, I don't know. Harpoon. <laughs> no, what's the like? You know. Um, like grime or anything. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Um, it like plays a bit of an RBR. Uh, uh, it yeah. starts busting dubstep in the corner. Oh, oh yeah, I can't be having that. Can't be having that. No way. Um, no way. Yeah. Anything else you want to talk about? Uh, oh yes. Uh, apparently, on film, thirty-one seconds on YouTube, uh, we have um, a guy filming fourteen bright lights. Was spotted. I've seen this off North Carolina. Uh, William Guy posted uh, a 31 second video uh, on September the 28th on YouTube and it looks mint. Yeah, I've seen it. It's loads of like orbs or yeah. lights yeah, yeah. Um, flying around in the sky. But it's, this is more and more now with the seeing yeah. um, so many 
Um, Getting like the fifties again. Yeah, totally. I mean, I think when is it is it or is it that people are so aware of it now that we're kind of these? It, we're back in a stage I think where it's both. back in the nineties there was a big resurgence of alien UFO stuff. Yeah. Um, and it was like um, crop circles were big. Yeah, right. Yeah. So everybody was kind of out there, rather making crop circles, reporting on crop circles. There was the whole, um, you know, people saying that they were made by aliens, aliens sort of. or by X Files was big, you know. And all of a sudden, that kind of fizzled out for a bit. But now, all of a sudden, with this raid area fifty one campaigns and disclosure stuff, I don't think it fizzled it out. It the, never it's fizzled not a case out. Of that it fizzled out, but it, wasn't it seems to be much. more in the public conscience at the moment. Right? Yeah, because we want to know. Because some of these, I mean, literally, some of these um, crop circles come up, and they were like, someone's turned the back, and it's done. Yeah. It, I mean, it's and there's so many technical ways of, uh, on it as well. And the best way of finding out if it's a real crop circle or not is by if you go to the crop and have a look at it as a, a like a little knob, like a little kneecap, <laughs> right? You have a look that's at a that. little knob. Yeah. Now, if that's burst, right, it's been radiated and because it, it needs extreme temperature to break it. Okay. If it hasn't, then you know it's a fake, and that is the best way, as my knowledge stands. The best way of not knowing how to find out if it was actually an object or if it was actually a guy in the field with a board. Yeah, but generally it is a guy in a field with a board. Yeah. And the guy who made the most intricate ones came forward and shown us how he did it. Now, yeah. I'm, I'm not going to dispute that and these crop the circles night. are impressive. Yeah, they're very, very, very good yeah. in terms of some of them are just... Like the one in particular, right, um, that springs to mind is the one with binary code in it. And it's yeah. a message. Um, you mean with the alien with in the, the alien corner? face? Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah, right now, sure. that was impressive on a yeah. number of levels. Yeah. Right, it, the fact that it was coded message, it was it. But it, you know, the way that people claim it, um, these crop circles and patterns are made, yeah, yeah. Uh, with kind of like you know um, where they've landed or like that's the the underside of the ship. Yeah. Yeah. Now, if every one of them's different, what are they going to do? Have they got kind of like a tagging machine where they're able to kind of put a picture in and tag that on a cornfield? Well, because, yeah. Well, how did the fake because, ones do it? Well, that's like what, that way. Well, because they've just got, the they've got a creative imagination. The fake ones go. They design something on paper first. Yeah. And then go out and recreate it. It's like you know. That's what yeah. I'm saying. It's like if a, if a crop circle is supposed to be a UFO that has landed and crushed this suck this corn. Yeah. Yeah then the, it stands to reason that the underside of that spaceship would match the circle, right? In diameter, width, and pattern, jet, where the, 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 yeah, all the boosters are and stuff. Not necessarily. You know, well, well, why not? So what what you're suggesting is that they, they go on the little alien laptop and punch in a little image and no, then they can be. print that out on the earth. It could be, well, it's like uh, uh, getting, um, you know, a torch, uh, you know, uh, a metal, you know, torch yeah. with a flame on a piece of wood and designing something. Yeah, but that's not what they're doing. I mean, they're like, you know... Well, it's, it's, the, whatever it is, it's, there's a massive amount of heat coming from it. Well, well not necessarily. On the ones that have been being crushed. crushed. But, that, but the ones that are, you're saying, scorch marks of, of um, you know, that's the ones where I think, well, that's that means to me that they're the... The, the boosters or the the underside of the the ship that's that's caused that, that yeah heat. but not the way the patterns have co- uh, uh, come out I mean there's, there's there is patterns out so there what do you that think, so have been radiated what do you think so what do you think made those patterns well what could change corn like literally they were in like um, you know crossovers like a stitch right you can st- it's like looks like stitching as well. How can it, it, some kind of device has done that? And, and until someone comes out and says, "I've got a device that can break this, do this, and do this," then you know what? What else is there? Well, I'm not sure. I think like the the more the more logical thing is the guy with the board. Well, we know this. Uh, uh, we know the ships out there. Well, we know the ships that go yeah, into space. We know there's objects there was, out there. If there was a ship out there, then and then you know that that made sense that it, they discovered the ship, and then they were like, actually, they've got these really funky undersides of the ship. Yeah, where yeah, the, but 
they're very hot and when they land they create these geometric patterns <laughs> then yeah, I'd be like oh right well that's that meaning up. now but well what well what are the meaning they because mathematically have uh, meaning and but I, cu- I couldn't tell you because I don't look that's into what it. I'm saying it's but, like uh, I think these they, they're made to make us think that there's meaning now if if I'm making what's wrong if with I'm that? that clever that I can go out there and I can fool everybody and yeah. get on the news with a yeah. prank yeah. or a, a design or yeah. something like that, yeah, yeah. then I'm pretty sure that I'd want to up my game every time I did it. So I'd want to make it yeah, but more you could only do it to a degree. more um, mind-boggling, more sort of kind of like thought-provoking to, like, to the extent where I'd put a coded message in binary in well, it well let me ask I mean? you it, do you reckon that all of uh, all of them are made by man no no well we, I can't say that for 100% sure or like um, you know all I can go from is my own experience and yeah. my own experience is that um, I found that a lot of them seem to be made by man do you know and and there's evidence to su- suggest suggest how they did it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's like you know you could you. It, I mean I don't believe everything I see. Yeah. But you know it's hard to kind of. It's like when you see a magic trick. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah and you yeah, see yeah, a magic trick that. being performed. Yeah. And then someone shows you how to do the trick. Yeah. And you go fucking. Yeah. Out. You go. I, ah, I, can, I yeah. know that. You can't ever see it in the same light. Yeah. 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 Now you could be blinding yourself and you could be wrong. Yeah, and Very that true. could be the not the case at all. Yeah, but yeah. you know, you've kind of seen how the sausage is made, if you like, and now it's kind of like, uh, yeah, I don't want to have a hoof. I don't have a toenail. I'm not really. Yeah. I've kind of passed it now. Yeah. You know, so. Yeah. Yeah. Well, anyway, One of things. Isn't it? M- moving on. Yeah. Um, we, there's been another UFO sighting actually. And this one is, um, well, basically, this is, um, scientists have been um, left baffled by a mysterious fireball that crashed into a Chile, into Chile um, last weekend. Oh, right. Um, after officials confirmed it was um, not a meteorite. Oh, right. Okay. Right. So, yeah, I heard um, a little bit about this. So Chilean officials are investigating several bizarre um, burning objects that were crashed, crashed into their country last week. Um, at the time, many scientists claimed that the objects had been meteorites. Um, however, officials now have confirmed that the fireballs that hit the Earth were not um, not natural, and but they've not u- ruled out meteor- meteorites as the cause. Um, First invasion. So last week, um, the residents of um, Dalcue, a port city in the southern island of Chile, took so took to social media with reports of. Um, unidentified flying objects yeah some posted photos of the phenomenon um as the fireballs reportedly crashed into a number of locations around the town yeah and um, they were described by witnesses as being bright uh, red objects streaking across the sky uh so so one uh, basically the guys from the chilean geological um surveying place yeah basically arrived to examine um seven sites and they'd been scorched by uh, mysterious UFOs. So, bit crazy anyway, isn't it? Really. Yeah. There's loads of photos and stuff like that online. Um, but, like, bizarrely, the locals told the geolo- uh, geological um, terms that they, they said that they'd not heard of any, no- any, heard any noises associated with an impact, nor did they witness any crash landings themselves. Could be a first invasion. So the scientists just re- um, released the reports confirming that these sites did not hold any evidence of ball and meteorites, and in the reports, the scientists concluded that no, um, they found no remains. No remains. Yep, of anything uh, meteorite or anything else left behind. Are we talking transformers here? Potentially, there's yeah. something that's scurried off. Yeah. Um. So the local residents. Um, had one fireball land in their proper air where the flames ignited um, and, you know, basically set fire to bushes. Yeah. So... Did they, they, they see nothing move from it? Did they, like, you know, threw water over it or anything like that? Well, the news that the meteorites were not... Oh, the objects were not meteorites. Yeah. It sparked several conspiracy theories about the sources um, uh, or the source of fireballs. 
Um, some experts suggest that they could have been pieces of the space debris. However, others have pointed Possible. to a bizarre eyewitness report suggesting that extraterrestrial sources. So mm, it depends what the eye reports say, are really first saying. Con- first invasion, um, you know. Could be if there's no objects on why, if it hit the ground, why isn't there at least a little piece there? Well, there there's think, something wrong you, there. If they've obviously located sites and discovered yeah. like craters. Seven of them as so, well. Mm, yeah, it's know. a bit mysterious that. We'll have to have a, a, another look on that um, as reports come in. All right, yeah. no worries. Anything you want to talk about? Anything you want to talk about, Mikey? Yeah. Then you have a story. Hey. Then you have a story. No, I was going on about what you was going on about, about a guy using a fake licence. Oh, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You were saying yeah. about the guy. Talking about licences here, the, the driver yeah. tries to pass off um, a Homer Simpson licence um, as a real driving licence to coppers. You know what, though? Realistically... He could really get away with that. How do you mean? Because, um, right, it, it goes back to like laws and shit, right? Right. Because the your name, what you bit get given, is um, yeah. Your well, working not being name. funny, but if it if it was a Simpsons driving license and it had Homer Simpson, he can picture, call himself Simpson if he it's wants. Not, it's not got his picture. He's got a picture of Homer Simpson. Yeah, well, that'd be the bit that he'd, he'd if he'd had his own picture in there, he would he could. He could theoretically, lawfully get away with well, it. Well, this is what we were talking about before the show. So, an unidentified driver in Milton Keynes, Southern England, um, basically, basically passed off a spoof Homer Simpson driving his license to the police during a traffic stop late, um, last Sunday night. No. Oh. Um, in in addition to his bogus Simpson identity document, was he wearing the outfit? Also discovered that the man was driving without insurance. Oh, no insurance! Oh, well, <laughs> they can get him for that. I have a question. Go on. Go for it. Why the hell, my uncle Will lives in Milton Keynes? Why the hell does that sound like him? <laughs> Give him a shout and <laughs> he, see what he's he saying. Did the police want Uncle Will. Like, was um, that you? Um, Wallace and Gromit license that. He turned it over and gave it him with a motorbike on the back, so they let him go. Oh, well, that he had an emergency, and he had no. MO. He had no license, so yeah, if he would have turned it over, they would have got done. What? And yeah. he's from Milton Lucky. Keynes, is he? Yeah. he Lucky. Keynes. What's his address? <laughs> so we can tell the police. <laughs> you know. <laughs> <it's> <laughs> a... Oh, oh mate, yeah, the, the, the license, the license is oh, hilarious shit, as well. Like it's literally, it's down. literally got Homer Simpson on it. Yeah. So the driver, um, well, it's an unlegal license. That's that's another thing they could get. Away well, with. it was an unlicensed license, but, but the driver's name. car was seized, and he was reported for driving with no insurance and driving without a proper license. Thames Valley Police yeah. said on Twitter. So, oh, this happened in Britain. Yeah, it was in I Milton Keynes. I thought this would be an American thing. No, no, it's in Milton Keynes. That's why he's saying oh, it sounds like his son. uncle. If if he would have worked it a little bit righter, he could have got away with that. If go. he if he if he found out the knowledge, yeah, 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 because he can call himself. You can call yourself Don't. what you want. And you uh, can call have that yourself bit. what you want. Yeah, I mean, because there is, that's your there's personal. There's probably a guy out there called Homer Simpson. Yeah, legit. there's plenty of people out there. You know there. what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Off Did it. he say dough when he got caught? Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. <laughs> probably. He was probably eating a donut. That's it. The surprise is getting for that. Yeah. So um, he was kidding the backer. Well, why do you carry a Homer Simpson driving license anyway? Do you know what I mean? Well, well, who has one of those? He wanted to fuck about them, didn't he? Why did he? Why did he think he that, that was going to come in handy one day? Hey, a practical joke that like. Fucked up on him, I suppose. Yeah. It depends what he's sent him. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, you, that's you true. Could, you could just argue that's that, true, but, but he still had no he insurance. Didn't have any insurance, so but, he was hope, but he was hoping that Homer did. Yeah, <laughs> and obviously, though, do you know, he didn't. Homer Simpson don't have insurance neither. Well, he does oh, now. I reckon he would have. Marge probably makes him get into insurance yeah. renewed, you know, unless he's forgot to post a check. But then his sister-in-law works at the DVLA. So hey, that's true. She could fiddle the yeah account there. What? They screw him over, they hate him. True. That is true, true yeah. They want him locked Pat, up. Patty and Salma. Yeah. yeah. Right. right, well, moving on. Um, yeah. I think I think we'll probably um, do one more little story and then we'll go into the main topic for tonight, which is quite interesting. And um, I think Taylor's going to be, um, be embracing this a bit. I get the feeling anyway. Yeah. Um, can I just well. give um, emergency finger? Uh, right, emergency, just, emergency. Well, there's an emergency going on. WhatsApp. Look out if you get a um, gift 
Gift. You know them like little things yeah, that gift. like waves and all that. Uh, there's a chance. Don't open it because there's a chance that you could be hacked. And uh, Google sent out an alert as well on uh, new phones on Android that there's a hacking system like going on there. Yeah. Oh, there's always bits and pieces going on like yeah. that. There's always a hacker, a bug, or some. Well, person. I spotted these alerts today, so it's like, you right, know. I'll tell everyone. If Cheers, you man. Keep their eyes out. Ch- yeah. You know, just be, yeah, change, yeah. change your, ch- keep an eye on yeah. your passwords yeah. and whatnot. Ch- change your business every now and again. So um, right, well, I've got um, a couple of little odd stories that we Go could talk it. about. Um, this one caught my eye. Um, French man, or French police, detain a man over stolen panther. What the? How the hell do you nick a panther? Exactly. Well, That's why it caught me eye. Got do you know what I mean? Um, yeah, so, Lily French, AFP French authorities, have detained and questioning a man sus- um, suspected of keeping wild panthers in his apartment from where he was um, rescued only uh, to be stolen from a zoo. Um, what the legal source he said the animal thought to be six months old and weighing in oh, at 25 right. to 30 kilograms um, so if it was a little puppy 66, and 55 to 66 pounds was spotted on the roof um after escaping from the flat in the northern town um in september uh the ink black feline was um basically tranquilized with a dart and then taken to the zoo yeah. Um. And then it was a waiting transfer to a centre for re um for basically rehabilitation. rehabilitation. Yeah. Um. Of domesticated wild animals. Yeah. 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 Uh, but instead, the cat was stolen a week later. Fucking hell. And then from the and then just basically considerable efforts were made to you know basically find it. Yeah. And um. No success. No. So the now. zoo. Um. Personnel. Personnel expected. Um. Expressed concern. That the creature creature's health and welfare. Yeah. But yeah, it's not yet been found. Oh, is it still not? It's not been found. No, nope, no, nope, still not been found. Do you think it was the guy who originally had it? He was like, "I want my panther back." Yeah, it's probably one of his mates or something. Yeah. Well, it, a guy's bit. The, the Depends guy, if he's a rich bitch. Well, it hadn't yet. It's not yet been found. But on Tuesday, a yeah. man um, from the the guy whose apartment it was. Yeah. Um, basically. Has he gone forward? Well, he he presented himself to the police for questioning, according to um, like the according to the news and according yeah. to you know like the French um, the French authorities. Yeah. Um, but he was taken into custody for questioning, um, just for the suspicion, um, just for just having illegally kept um, a wild animal. Yeah. Um, but that's about it at the moment. The man was um, listed as. Uh, wanted by the police until he turned himself in. How the fuck can you lose it twice? Perhaps it well, he, he had it. No, no, he had it, and then the police perfect. took it and took it to a zoo to or took it to a place to be. But how did he get it in the first place? Is what I want. Well, he was a baby, so he's probably so he's got it. it he's rather got it from like um, black market yeah, um, sources. Yeah, from a from a being Pop. a baby. Yeah, yeah. and then and then he's yeah, a little kitten, and then. I brought it up because he's had it for six six to eight months or whatever. Well, that's all right, that then, because it's not been that long. I but it is the know. time when it needs to learn its basics of staying away from humans yeah. and how to... How do we not know, though, that he wasn't holding it for some other dodgy criminal? Well, yeah, you don't know it if he was is. actually the probably trafficker. Was. Yeah, yeah in, in been no guy making money, place. yeah. Make it grow a bit and then sell it on for a double price. Well, yeah, exactly. So, well, um, fair cop. Well, there you go. Um, I yeah. think I think nobody should be kind of keeping those type of wild animals in in no. in, in, in no. enclosed places like that. I Cats think it's and funny, dogs, man. As well, fish done. That's no, it. well, even do you know what? Right, I think I've got I've got a cat, and she's been both a house cat and an outdoor cat. Yeah, you know they decide what they want to do, and you know it's like even you give her the option, and she'll still want to stay in the house, right? Yeah, she but, gets I her mean, home comforts. That's where she gets fed. That's it. That's the thing. They're domesticated yeah. to the point where the you can't really everyday let them out. cats, everyday dogs, right? But yeah. when it comes to jungle cats, monkeys, those they type of things, they shouldn't. You shouldn't be having them in in your homes. Do you know what I mean? I remember in the eighties, it was big, big things. Yeah. You see it all the time, like people yeah. with like uh, lions and tigers. 
and monkeys. Yeah, yeah. You just don't well, see my, that anymore. And I think it's good that we're not allowed to kind of have exotic pets like well, My that. brother had a spider monkey. Um, also, Did you like a spider monkey? Where I live now, there's the, in back, back in the day, there was a, a crocodile in one place there. There's also a lion in another place. Well, that's why the they yard. say that there's alligators in the in the sewers in New York because, like, yeah, they flushed them down. Yeah, the they flush them, don't they? Grow to only grow small. But they're only survived to a certain <laughs> degree. But then they that I can't see them like unless they're bloody well lucky finding a female and creating a breeding. Garage breed, that has yeah. A garage cat. Hey, Ben's got a garage cat. Yeah, he yes. In his garage. Yeah, it's true, but it is domesticated because it knows where it can have yeah, food. It knows where it's got comfort. And he was dead ill. And he took it over but can't take it home because his dog will kill it. Yeah, yeah you well, see, that's enough. I wouldn't, I wouldn't well, want yeah. him to take it over. I'd be ringing up the animal people and saying, look, got a, got a fucking crocodile here. Do you want to come and saw it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think you need Sauce. more than a net. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Say, make, sure, make, make sure you bring, bring a, um, yeah. your artist guy you've got. Yeah, like bring biggest bravest, some somebody Steve a bit Steve Irwin, Irwin yeah. or something. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, there you go. That was um, all the news from this week. In fact, yeah. it wasn't all the news. It was some of the news. We had too much to get through. Um, but yeah, moving well, okay on. Moving on to this week's topic, well, which well, 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 well. again, it's it's more of a kind of um, a, an, <laughs> it's a, it's it's and a weird you, one. Yeah, it is a weird one. It is, it's, but it, there is some good. Well, uh, I, I suppose it, it's if you wanted to kind of try it and pursue it and see what it did I, for yourself. I think I sort of already was trying. Well, this some I was. Do you know when I was researching this, I kind of felt like this myself because yeah. I am kind of of that belief where if you want something, you go and get it. Yeah. yeah. Right. And um, the universe and all the rest of it. Do yeah. you know, like, um, and. So when I was researching this, I was kind of like, well, yeah, loads of times that's happened. Yeah. Or where I felt like, you know, there was something at play. Yeah. 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 Right. And I mean, I'm not, I mean, I'd say I was a spiritual person, but I wouldn't say I was like totally into the mumbo jumbo. I wasn't overly religious, you know, I'm not, yeah. I'm not kind of. There's some kind of force there, but you don't know, yeah, you can't put your finger the, on it. This, yeah. this thing as well, yeah. right? Because like, I'm, I'm of that sort of belief where, you know. Um, a lot of religions have got a lot of good things to say. Yeah. Yeah. And a lot of good teachings. morals. Yeah. Um, I take my morals from a lot of different places. From, yeah. I can take them from music, from films, yeah, from yeah. TV yeah, shows, yeah, yeah, from yeah. books, yeah. from religions, yeah. from philosophies, yes, from definitely. everywhere. You know, I mean, that all kind of rounds you out. Yeah. Right? But that's what this teaches. You know, to be able to kind of pick and choose elements from different areas. If it feels right for you or if not. If it feels yeah. right for you. And Where to if, stamp down exactly. and say, no, yeah. I'm going so, this way, not your way. So I think, like, you know, overall, it's kind of got some groovy sort of elements. But, <laughs> like, you know, a lot of people can kind of argue that, you know, ooh, it's dark. It's 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 dangerous. You know what? I, when I was it's looking into this, it's dark and dangerous, and you shouldn't get involved. I did with think a bit of this. it does go into the arts of uh, like the Illuminati or the no, uh, like Wicca and kind of yeah, witchcraft that as well. and stuff like that. I mean, but what, what do you mean with the Wicca? Well, symbolism is a big symbolism is a is a symbolism's big in everything. But so is words. Like I I've said on uh, before, I've got to find it because I can't remember the word for. It. I think it was. The one, one uh, the most powerful word in the world, and it's no, uh, yeah, no, <laughs> no, it's not. It's um, it's. it's uh, I was trying to think of it before, but I know I've said it on um, on one of the podcasts at one time, and it's something like um, border or something. It's something, nothing like major, but it actually is such a powerful word that it can bring such strength by using it. Well, it's crazy because, like like you say, words just mean things, and, you know, it's like when you think about, like, all right then, so the word chaos, right, yeah. in itself yeah, um, can mean, like, confusion and crazy and kind of, like, you know, craziness yeah. and, you know... It's it's not in order. It's, yeah. It's sort of kind it's of a, like a, um, a um, it's like dis- a, disrupted. Yeah. Yeah. Right? yeah so yeah, people yeah, yeah. kind of see it as a yeah. negative, right? Magic. It's the art of um, influencing events and pro- um, and projecting um, 
fun and character <clears throat> and like well uh, no no uh, it's kind of, well, well the definition i've got here so it's like um producing marvels using hidden um what well, well natural um hi- hidden natural forces yeah so the art of influencing events and producing marvels using hidden natural forces that's yeah. the, that's the definition of magic right. um you know so the two don't really kind of seem i mean chaos could be seen as a negative thing, but how is negativity... It depends how you use it, I suppose. Well, right, okay. So the principles of the, the, the thing is, I mean, if you look at a bit of the history, yeah, yeah um, you know, it's, this kind of shows to um, get rid of all those sort of elements. So negativity yeah. is a part of your ethics and a part of your kind of understanding of what's right and wrong, right? Yeah. And those principles are only kind of rounded off and kind of you've come to those conclusions yeah. of what's good, what's bad. Yeah. Will my dad approve? Will my mum approve? What's my nana going to say if, yeah. if she finds out what I've done, what I'm not doing? Yeah, you yeah. You know, yeah. all these things just come to a point where you've come to those conclusions because society dictates that's the way you should behave. Yeah. Um, religion yeah. says... Um, you must do you this, must you must do, do this, that. you must live your life yeah. by these certain rules and regulations. Yeah. Well, you're not the um, you, so you all, you, you're guilty, you're always guilty, man. You're always like, what should I do, should I do this? If I do this wrong, will I be displeasing such and such? Yeah. Right? Yeah. So negativity, right, as a, a thing, yeah, is an invention. It doesn't exist, yeah? Yeah. Because you're only... You're only disappointing people who are playing to a made-up game because all the things, society and kind of everything that's in place is just there because somebody invented it. But certain things have got to stay there. It's not a natural law is what I'm saying. Nothing like religion, nothing like any of it is a natural law. But there's certain things that have to stay there. man-made invention. So I could say, well, you know, if, you know, thou shall not kill thou shall yeah. not steal thou yeah. shall not this that and the other right well these people in history like you know like this alistair crowley for instance you yeah. say do what you feel like do you know what i mean it's not yeah. a case of thou shall do what you want to do do what you feel yeah but you've got to recognize uh what's um like um we're all we're all as one we we don't realize it yet but we're all as one, we're not all individuals, and when I hear this, it, it kind of like I had to think about it a bit because I um, like my individuality. I like my um, stance on what I, I, I say I believe, and if if like if they don't in front of me, then I don't care. It's not my problem. But this states that we're all as one. We, we don't realise it yet, but we're all together as a, a, a group, but we all seem to like uh, the individuality more than um, as looking after the, you know, the people around you. Yeah, I get where you're coming from. I, but I think, like I say, it's like it's all kind of stuff there that was invented in one respect or another to kind of keep the masses. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so I, dude, and I agree them, with that. To keep them like so. It's like the Bible, for instance, and these these um, um an article that I was reading about this about um. So I can't remember who it was now, but they were saying, oh, well, you know, all of the things like the Quran, the Bible, the every religious book, yeah, they're not right, they're not wrong, they're just there's bits in there that are right, there's bits, bits in there that are, are wrong. There's bits in there that are right, but the majority of it's just to kind of keep you happy enough, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and content with your daily day stuff. And control. Yeah, right. Um, but like I say, a lot of it, the history of, you know, the this stuff comes down to ethics and yeah. how you kind of look at life and yeah. how you kind of, how you think. You've yeah, because in a way you're you, getting taught how to think when well, really got, you're you've not. Got a kind of, well, you're closing yourself off yeah. and you'll never kind of appreciate and never be able to. Because this this, this um, chaos magic stuff, right? Yeah. right. If you look into it and what they say, or people who've practiced it, or magicians or whatever yeah. they're called, yeah, right? Um, <laughs> you know, they, 
they believe that they can shift and change reality to their will, right? Yeah, that's they because want they believe that, it's a proven. If they want something, that they can make it happen for them using yes. yeah. incantations yeah. or what are they called now? Um, you know... Um, Sigwells. No, um, not Sigwell. I can't remember what it was called. Oh, um, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah, we'll come to that in a bit. Yeah, um, uh, sigils. Yes, that's it. So you know these these things you do. Yeah, yeah, and they all. can claim. Well, wouldn't you think that that's kind of? Wouldn't you feel mint after that? Wouldn't you? Well, get I don't massive, know. I'm about a massive to, ego. I've tried it. So, yeah, I'm man, trying I'm it a now. Magician. Since I've been uh, yesterday, I I decided. Um, I was watching someone about it and... Uh, but but so. basically, I know where you're going. So, I mean, I want to see what... If he, if he comes around with a big smile on his face saying, I got my Ferrari, I wanted yeah, no, that. No, no, no. I, I, well, I, it, no, because it's not necessarily for you. It's it's like, I have done it for me and it's it's a thing that... And you've got to actually show me yet how I've got to use it. Oh, design. Well, ah, you're going to like that. We'll yeah. get to that bit in a bit. Where we're like, we'll get into uh, like the sigil stuff a yeah. bit later on. Yeah. Um, the thing about chaos magic, though, is like I say, it's all down to kind of like your experiences about how kind of you, um, your moral stance. Yeah. Um, but like the fact is, like I say, none of that kind of really, I mean, you've got to be kind of like able to, you know, if Take you're a good person, if you're a bad person, if you're a good person, obviously you use, you'd you'd be looking to do good things, yeah, yeah, right. If you're a bad person, you'd be looking to do bad things, and that's why when people go chaos magic or anything like that, yeah, it's like or anything like that, yeah, yeah, because it people, sounds like it's a, it's a dark art, yeah, yeah. I'm but, them, but it's not. It's, it's about not, kind of. In, yeah. Do you know what? Apparently, do you know there was a book on Oprah's bestseller list? Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. And I can't remember what it's called. Eat, eat, live, pray, or some bullshit. Yeah, yeah. Right. And a lot of the principles in that book are yeah comes from, from this from this yeah, yeah right. Yeah. And it's just literally people. It sounds self help. Yeah. yeah. It very does sound very self help. And it's funny to hear, like, do you know when you've got Alistair Crowley and people like that? Yeah. Who were kind of seen in the way they were seen as being quite dark people. And, well, what's you know, this about the destruction around you? Well, well, this is it because it's like, well, it's, well, well go on, what do you get from that? No, because I, I was looking at different parts of it and it was saying that, like, if you start this, like, um, there's, there's a, a way of doing it and things around you that you don't know, not necessarily want to do, so this theory says don't do it. So you don't do it and there is a consequence for it. Let's say I don't want to go to work. Well, that's the chaos, isn't it? Yeah. Well, this is the part of the chaos of it. Um, and it is, apparently it destroys, it, it doesn't necessarily destroy, but you have major hassle, basically, on your route to getting what well, you want. Well, that makes sense. But then yeah. at the end, you will get what you want, what it is in the end. Well, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, and I can understand that because I think, like, you know... Um, or is that a case of that your life's not where you want it to be in the first place? Yeah, yeah. Um, and you so, want to change so things. So you want to change things, yeah. but that, then that can be... St- well, there are so, consequences. But this is what I'm getting at about this kind of like, you know, you if you want it hard enough, you'll, you you can achieve yeah. it. And I'm not saying... And this is where people fall down on this because they just think that if they want it hard enough and to sit there wanting it, yeah. that it'll happen for no. them. No, no, you've got to go out and work for it as well. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what they get. You've got to go out and get that lottery ticket if you want to win that money. Well, exactly. If you're not in it, yeah, you don't win it. it. Yeah, Yeah. right. But the point is, it's like yes, you can achieve your goals. Yeah. If you put 110 percent in and you work really hard and you change the way you are and the way you were living, and this is the thing. It's like there's an example in this where if if a man is literally on the streets that in the morning, yeah. right, and he's got rags on, on his back and he's yeah. got no uh, food in his belly yeah. and he's, he's he's dirty and smelly, yeah. right, and he's begging, yeah. right? But then later that day, he does win the lottery, yeah. right, and he gets a haircut and a shave and puts a new suit on, yeah. right? Is that not magic? Because he's just, a, he's just took his appearance, right, and yeah. your perception of him, yeah. right, and he's totally flipped it round because the way you saw him this morning, you probably yeah. wouldn't have give him time of day. Yeah. Right? Now this afternoon he's had a shave and a haircut. Yeah. Right. And he's altered your perception of him. Yeah. Right. That 
is an example of being pro, you know, basically, I'm not just talking about saying he's won the lottery, yeah, so yeah, he's yeah. able to do those things, but he's he's positively changed his appearance and uh, and basically other people's yeah. opinion of him. Because now in, I've seen that the in, reverse. In small ways and the same, yeah, exactly. I have seen, I've the seen that in reverse. And it's like, hold on, you, you're a millionaire and yet you're a, you're a scruffy fucker. There was a woman in Manchester, yeah, she had like a, a beard. She was called the bearded woman. She mm-hmm. used to walk up and down and, you know, she she looked like a, 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 a street person and like, you know, collecting rubbish and that. But every single night she used to go down uh, back to the um, Manchester and get in a swanky hotel and have the penthouse. Really? And it was like, whoa, what the hell is that? But is she happy? If she's happy doing that, fair cop. You know yeah. what I mean? Fair re- cop to her. Well, this is it. It's your way of life, It's all isn't about it? the it's happiness. It's not yeah. necessarily about earning the money or doing this, that, and the other. What you want, and if you're happy, if you're not happy with what you do, change it. Yeah, that's exactly the point, yeah. isn't it? So... Um, I think obviously these. Um, it's going to be hard. What? What? How do you mean? As in all the chaos which will come with the changes. But you'll get in the end. You dream what you want. Well, um, there you go. Well, I mean, this is it. It's like you, these are, the way you kind of be. You know, you. There's a so, it's just, there's a, a, a study on yeah. sociology, right? right that's um, by Herbert um, Spencer. Right. And it was published in 1873. And it talks about kind of like biased. Yeah. Okay. Right. And he says like the biased. Um, so basically, um, the the fact that we are kind of socially acceptable, acceptance, like yeah. we have social acceptance. Yeah. yeah right. Um, it kind of creates bias against like, you know, in education. Yeah. Yeah. Um, right. Class. Yeah, uh, nationality, politics, is technology, all these different things. Yeah, right. But um, basically, we have more influence in determining um, our beliefs. Yeah, on society, on social questions that have um, little or no evidence based on those things, on those things like education, class, yeah. uh, nationality, politics. Yeah, Do you know, we we base more of our kind of influences on those those things whereas it's we shouldn't we should basically be able to rule them out and have a fresh you're not you're not being you that's your basing that on a load of kind of nibbledy chip that somebody's just posted yeah like like if, if you a load of a load, a load of gruber and if um you know you just kind of got to go with it it's like you know you're basing your whole principles and everything you stand for yeah. on stuff that was kind of preloaded into you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah totally. Right? Do you know what I mean? This is this is a thing that like is frustrating me over like at least the last ten years as I've been looking into more more kind of stuff like the frustration of the amount of lies and the amount of um, distruth or hidden stuff that they don't want you to know and it's like what why. Because yeah. uh, at the end of it, if you think about it, there's an end game somewhere. Well, there's people out there, obviously, who are pretty big on this whole chaos magic thing, yeah. Um, and the claim, and they well, they think and claim, um, that they can kind of basically find it easy to get what they want by rather using magic or other ways. So they're yeah. basically resourceful people, yeah, yeah, right. So the you know they don't just go, oh, I want something. I can't get it. It's not worked out for me. Yeah. I'll give up. Yeah. They will, you you know, will work out a way of getting what they want. Yeah. yeah. So is that not kind of like social agri agri cadabra? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Then, but then there's um, this. Oh, this. But the idea of kind of pushing, you know, this sort of kind of. Um, you know, ideal. Yeah. What, you know, we talked about Alistair Crowley a minute ago and like how kind of he was um, pushing this um, do what you like principle. Yeah. 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 Right. Which is like, you know, it's all it can be morally, I mean, for to somebody who, like you say, who has kind of like everyday social morals. Yeah. It can be seen as um, being, you know, unethical some of the things that you have to do to get what you want. Yeah. Yeah. But also ethical in a lot of ways as well. Do you know what I mean? 
because yeah. it could be seen either way. But you're, at the end of the day, that's the goal. The goal is to fulfill your desires yeah, that's and the, get the what first you want. And most important to do what you feel do, like, yeah. yeah, right. So if that means you've got to do something unethical to do it, yeah, then it's then not a problem. If you have to, then, then you've you got have to do to. it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. It's like, but. You know, this actually wasn't... I mean, it wasn't him who originally came up with this sort of theory. Yeah. And it was first introduced by um, a guy named Hassan Sabah. All right. Um, and he was around from about 1034 to 1124 BC. Right. Um, and he was a great poet, traveller, philosopher, and astronomer. Um, basically, he said that, you know, basically all religions, the Bible, um, the the Quran and all the rest of them are just books um, to keep the population under control. I totally and utterly agree. And um, he's not wrong in um, a lot of those kind of terms, but yeah. do you know... Um, totally agree. And it's worked up until now. Well, I think so. Um, do you... No, well, I think like a lot of it comes down to... It just seems to be a kind of a positive... It does. Do you think it all sounds pretty positive so far? I I, th- I think from the um, from where I've seen it from, yeah, I think there's more positivity coming by doing it. But then again, I, like I say, I'm going to test it. So you know, I want to test the first theory out to see if it actually works. Uh, if it doesn't, then you know, it doesn't. But I watched does, this thing actually before. It was a um, a short a short video on YouTube um, yeah. when I was doing a bit of research, and it and it came out with this good, quite a good analogy. Okay. Um, he was saying, so what's reality, right? He says, you watch reality TV, right? And yeah. everything you watch on reality TV yeah. is supposed to be real life, yeah. but it's actually scripted, yeah. right? And um, produced. Yeah. And, you know, so... Oh, shit. You know, to watch real, real <laughs> life yeah. would be watching you sitting on a sofa watching, watching the you. shit TV, yeah, 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 yeah right? Yeah, yeah, totally. So everything you think to be real... Is allowed to be to exist, yeah, yeah, right, yeah, I know, yeah, I yeah. Know the, these comes, things yeah. are there because yeah. anything that exists that could be a danger or throw you off or so. try and get eat. So even this, even chaos magic, yeah. falls to this, right? Yeah. Because and it kind of contradicts itself. But chaos yeah. magic's allowed to be contradictory, yeah. yeah? So yeah. again, it doesn't matter, yeah. right? But the fact is, um, everything that you see is there as a construct, right? And it's up to you to kind of get well, no, rid of that. It's up to your brain to... It's up to, to your brain to, to yeah. kind of try and reprogram itself yeah. to get rid of that thought, that, that thought process. So yeah. how can... Know, go on. No, what was your All answer? right. What do you know about the, the, the time traveling part? Time travel? Yeah. Go on. No, no, you, this totally skipped me by and I'm big big down on this. So right, go okay. on, you're telling me I can do a bit of time travel with it. Well, it's a catalogue. Uh, there's a catalogue. There's a um, there's a comic book maker who makes the Invisibles. Oh yeah, a thing called the Invisibles. Um, so basically, Morrison, his name is, um, he's done all this kind of stuff. He started from the beginning and he's been doing it and doing it. And a part of it was um, he he asked aliens to meet him on Earth. That he's asked basically. Oh, to I meet know him. about this. You know, about yeah, 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 yeah. So he's gone uh, to uh, Yemen or something like that, where they told him to meet him. He's got there. He says he got into the uh, spaceship. He went into uh, Sirius uh, uh, Five or something, and then he asked the ultimate question of like, like, what is the universe? And they it, it, they've come back with the uh, come go into the fifth dimension, which. Time doesn't exist. Yeah, we've talked about this, in fact, in a yeah. very early episode. Yeah. yeah, totally, yeah. So go on. And um, we are um, basically creating the next um, species because as it works out, as like two minutes ago, I was talking to you, yeah? But it's not you now. And it wasn't it wasn't you a second, a millisecond after or after right. that. It's like cards. You know, like oh every right, step yeah. So it's take. like well, kind of like frames it frames yeah, in yeah. a film, really, yeah. isn't it? It's yeah. like you know you're playing at frames per second. So yeah. you know the the literally every every movement and I'm creation. making, 
you create well, 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 something. He's, he's a, well, maybe that's why you see yeah. well known so trails sort of on like LSD. An egg. Sort of like, you know, an egg within a womb and we're starting the process of creation. Maybe, but... Well, this is what this guy's come up with. What, you're saying the Earth's an egg and we're going to hatch out into well, something? No, no, the galaxy is. Oh, right, yeah, well, The galaxy yeah. is and it's, it's changing. That, makes, and it's that makes sense to me, that it the gala- the universe and the galaxy and space and everything else yeah. could be another organism that's... Yeah, because, yeah, yeah, I put it in that, that we have Because you, we've talked small, about small, being small, micro, small, microscopic yeah. and all yeah. the rest of it. Yeah, um, totally. Well... Going back to this um, magic stuff, right? Yeah. Do you think you know it? It's um, people have used it to get success. Well, apparently they uh, they have they've they've stated it, they've shared it, and like they want more people to get it. So, well, this is the thing. A, a lot way, of they people, want us all to join together. a lot of people are like, you know, don't don't listen to me. Go out and try it yourself. Yeah, you know, yeah, don't, totally. don't just believe what I'm going to tell you. Cause like at the proofs, That's like I say, it. the proofs in the pudding. Yeah. If you want to go out and, you know, give it a whirl and see how it plays for you. Yeah. Um, and well, that's on. why I'm going to test it out. But, see you know, they, they, they say treat belief as a tool and borrow from, um, other religions, magic traditions, and even pop culture. Yeah. Um, which is what I said I do already. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. I think like, you know, that kind of, it opens your mind up a bit more to kind of like incredible stuff. Yeah. And you know, like if you're closed off and you're not kind of interested and you kind of accept, well, if you accept the world as it is and then you've got no, you you can't accept the magical and the the fantastic because you're closed off. Yeah. Yeah. So. But still yet again, it's the question of, are they happy? If they're happy in that, in that. Oh yeah, some people are, are just kind of happy, just you like nah, I'm a simple guy. I'm a simple person. I yeah. don't, I don't go Not in for none of this. Yeah, I don't go in for any of this. Yeah. Um, but more and more stuff. people waking up to this kind of stuff, though. Well, I must admit, this is this is it, isn't it? But like you know, the basic message of chaos magic is that you know what's fundamentally totally magic right. is um, you know actually doing it. Yeah, yeah. So just yeah. like you know, pulling it off. Doing magic yeah. is basic message. So, um, so literally, we've got the six principles of chaos magic, and then we'll go into a bit of, um, you know, how you do this a little bit. Yeah. yeah, I'm just looking at the time we've got. Right. So the six principles. Um, at number one, avoidance of any dogmatic stuff. Yeah. So, like you know, like we say, um, you know, anything that's the the dogma is basically a principle that can be um denied or can't be denied or disputed um in any way yeah so like religion yeah okay um that that's a dogma right you can't you can't dispute it because you can't prove it either way right so okay. you've got to get rid of anything like that Disp- avoid anything dogmatic right okay. number 2 personal experience is paramount yes right so, yeah. like I say, don't believe everything you read or see. Learn from you know, experience. learn from experience, and um, you know, learn. Take your own risks. Try your own. Try your own things, um, try and then risks. if you find it works for you, then crack on. Yeah. Um, obviously, experience is the best teacher. Yeah. The worst experience, though, holds the best lessons. Yes. So, you know, I mean, just because you're having a bad time doesn't mean that you shouldn't get anything out of it. Um, number three, technical excellence. So do do it right. Um, keep a diary, research what you're doing, kind of keep a note of the the things you're kind of doing and um, making sure that they're going to be working for you. Um, at number four, at number four, like I'm doing a counter. <laughs> um, number four. Um, well, it is a counter, I think it's all. What? <laughs> Oh, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, number four, um, the um, conditioning, right? So oh, this is going to be the hard. One. This is to widen yeah. the cracks of your own reality and this become more woke from the system yeah. um, to make things better for yourself. Um, deconstruction of the ego. So that's kind of like you know everything yeah. you think you know about Everyone's kind got of an ego. build just your, break yourself down to build yourself back up again. Yeah. Um, obviously beliefs are not yours 
they've been imposed upon you. Embedded so, you know, system. like you need to kind of like re- take those kind of way and kind of work out what works for you. Yeah, think about what you've actually been told. Do you believe it? If you do believe it, then, you know, fair enough. Or check it out, check yep. some information out and see where the So, I mean, these are just kind of like, you know, basic, yeah. root, you know, principles of, of um, you know, chaos magic. Yeah. Um, diverse approach as well, right? So chaos okay. takes... Chaos magic takes bits from all aspects of beliefs, yeah. such as, um, you know, like I said earlier, religion, yeah. pop culture, yeah. um, and loads of other bits and pieces. So use the bits that, you know, the bits and bobs from here that, you know, you think relate to you and teach you lessons that, you know, are worthwhile. Number six, um, Gronis, uh, which is Greek for knowledge. Right, um, okay. It's basically the the grand spark where everything was from came, the everything came from and was created from. Yeah. Um the insight an insight to humanity. Yeah. Which is um good for you and is good for everyone else. Yeah. Uh, vice versa. I think, we, we're going to and I think they should have number seven in these principles as oh, well, I, which I think empathy. That? Empathy. Yeah. Being empathetic to because you, that's not necessary. It's it's a feeling. It's something that yeah. you can kind of like vibe. But well, like, that's what makes it different between us and yeah. Them. But no, but an empath- empathetic people, yeah. right? It's it's a feeling from another person rather than being um, you know like an influence in in a cultural sense or a religious sense. Yeah, it's like in the piece you can still be shoes. kind of empathetic to people and kind of being able to um, you know use those experiences to kind of help you become who you are if you like yeah. do you know what i mean yeah yeah um so yeah th- those yeah. are the principles There's plenty of videos and stuff on oh, yeah. truth of chaos um i think in fact the where we've got a lot of my kind of um research from today is um a book called um condensed chaos into the K- into chaos magic by phil hines um, it's pretty intense little book, but check it out. It's really cool. I got mine from uh, Grant uh, Morrison, uh, which is on YouTube called Grant Morrison on Chaos Magic. And he was actually pissed when he did this. I'm stoned. <laughs> really? But I'll tell you what, some of the stuff he was talking about made quite some good, quite sensible the, the thing is it's so yeah. it's such a crazy topic and there's a lot to it and i think we've not done it justice to really no, i mean we've kind of like skirted over it really but well, like a lot in i dogs. mean if you're interested in you want to come on the show and you can explain it a bit better than we can then hey, come yeah, on please, you you come on and tell us a bit about it and yeah. the thing is as well right um the the idea of it is appealing but you know um you're probably asking how do you go about this now do you know what I mean? In terms of how do you how do you get it? Um, you will now making a sigil, right? So yeah. I'm going to go through the gist of this, right? So um, the sigil is a method um, was invented by um, an artist called Osman Osmond Sp- Spare, right? right he cool. was uh, basically um, into his chaos stuff. Um, he was a bit of a sexist and he hated the suffragettes by all accounts. Oh, right. Um, and for some reason, um, he wrote that he, right. So he basically wanted to kind of get this way of like doing a, a spell. Yeah. And so he's come up with this, this method and it's all about language and you basically write your question phrase or whatever on a piece of paper. Oh, done right. That. So, um, you can't, Say like so. Say if I wanted to say, well, I, I want to be a pop star. Yeah, which I don't. But like, if you wanted to, oh, well, yeah, well. or wanted to be a footballer, you wouldn't put I want to be a footballer. You'd put it like, yeah. oh, how did I become this famous footballer? Or, um, you know, you'd put it in a kind of a question, or it's already happened sort of a way. It takes like, a selfie. How did I get this Ferrari? Yeah, sort of. Yeah, it takes the sort of that sort of I want element out yeah. of it. Right, so then what you do is you take out all the vowels and any repeated letters, right, and out of the phrase, and then you kind of rearrange the letters into kind of a funky pattern, whatever you fancy, make it, you know, like it'll kind of come to you what feels right, do a couple of times, and you'll kind of create 
um, a, your sigil, right? Yeah. I had to do it three times last night. Well, you want to get it right. It's yeah. the feeling, isn't it? How you kind of feel it's, it looks good yeah. and kind of you'll get like a logo y sort of element going. Yeah. yeah, and that's kind of, but you want that to kind of stay in your unconscious mind now, right? Yes, so you're concerned. kind of concentrating on this this pattern. Yeah. So you're not concentrating on a on a on a question or a, although that does work, right? Because I kind of that's what I mean. When there's been times when I've been like, I want, I need this, 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 I need this in my life, yeah, right. And it's been something really important to me. And then when it's happened, yeah, yeah. I felt like shit, yeah. But not like I felt like shit. I felt like whoa, what the fuck just happened there? And yeah. I didn't you know I wanted it to, but now it's happened. Did I did me kind of wanting it that much have any influence on it whatsoever? Yeah. Even yeah. might, might not have, right? It's just the way the world turns, right? But See, hold on. So is this how you start off? Because, like like I said, I've made one of these. Yeah, yeah, you've but got I, to activate it, yeah. But, yeah, is right? this the activation? I'm going to get to this right, now, okay. right? Yeah, right. because this is where you'll like this bit. Yeah. Right. See my little pretty pattern there? That's mine now. So, you know, you've taken all your... You've, you've rearranged it into yeah. kind of an, into a charm or what kind of might look like even a demonic logo. Um, and. Yeah, no, it's cool. Yeah, yeah. well, yeah, that's right. Yeah, excellent. So you be, it's basically it's activating sigil. your sigil is a way of bringing this to um, you know the unconscious unconscious mind. So basically, like I say, you're gonna love this because just do you know what you do? No. You have a wank. Do you? Yeah. Oh right. sweet! So, I got a wank onto that. Right. So you you'll stare at your pit. They say this is you can meditate. You have to be yeah. alone. You can meditate on or whatever, you know, yeah. you can you can kind of oh, get it into you. No, no, just other than wanking, right? But this 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 oh, source so that I way, found right? about this kind of this um, you know, getting it into your mind the best way. Well, because at least got an because what it's saying is, right, you'll you'll be staring at your sigil, right? What? And at the, I've got to look at you've it got to stare well. at your sigil, I've got to look right? Up <laughs> <laughs> right? And then when the point of climax yeah. yeah, your your body shuts down. Yeah, right. Okay. So it kind of imprints that image of your um, your sigil and symbol into your unconscious mind, right? And they say it's the best way of doing it because it's like a body <laughs> shut down. It's right? the best way of doing it. Go yeah. have a wank. It, well, it's like when do you know? Right, all right then. Say, do you know when you You're hit cold to to water? Sur- yeah, right. Shut. And your body just go, freezes up. Yeah. yeah, and it's like your body shuts down and then reboots. Uh, yeah, right? I understand. What you're it's the from. same thing, but it's kind of, but because it's a pleasure, it's a happy ending. It's not like it's it you out. get that shock, you yeah. get that sort of kind of climax. Yeah, but it's not a, a, a nasty one. It's a it's something that might um, you know stick. To your in- unconscious mind, a little bit yeah. better than than a shot. Do you have to do it every day? I'm not too sure, but I mean, it's like a, I don't so think what, it, what, it, every two days. I don't think it. it'd it'd help, but day I mean, it'd, it'd be a problem every half hour. Well, <laughs> well apparently, yeah. The um, this this yeah um, every this, half hour. This woman, this it, woman who was on um, on one of the videos I was watching basically yeah. said there was something. Um, you know, she said, "You know, her, um, at one of these um, you know chaos magicians because uh, they they suffer from chaos chafe." Oh yeah. shit! So you know what I mean. So yeah, it depends if you want it hard enough. You know, you'd go oh, and. Um, oh, I'll you'd tell go you what, and, sex addicts would have a field day with this. So you know, and well, wouldn't you go to church more if you if it involved um you know knocking one off after praying? Hey, you yeah. know, yeah, I mean, they're, they're missing out on these this uh, these church churches, you know. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, um, yeah. how do you um you know? It, oh, oh, here's another thing as well: getting rid of your sigil. Can't so after you've, after you've used it, you know, after it's done its job, you can rather burn them. Um, well, love can't. sigils supposed to go in water. Yeah. Um, and um, some people even boil them in kettles and drink them in tea. So you get rid of it after you've made well, it? After, so eventually. it's sort of imprinted and you can't find it. The only way you can find it would be in your mind. Well, it, yeah, I suppose so. It's like unless you can actually, think, physically remember it. Actually, that's pretty... Oh, what was that? That was nice, that. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah. So, what do you think of the whole thing? Are you going to go and try it? I, I like I, that I'm little interested. idea at the end. What? Like, kind of, like, like it's sort of like shocking your body, and then burning the item. And then you sort of got to remember that well, item. It's, to the act, it's act, the act fact of, that you've changed the, the a phrase or a question or a want or a desire into a, a symbol that's easily easily remembered and yeah. can be kind of like easily imprinted on your yeah. unconscious mind right so you could be thinking about that 
at that goal, right? Yeah. Rather than the symbol, it's what it represents. It's the representation of what you want. Does it matter the length of time? Because it might be a minute. I mean, 15. you could make that sigil look like anything as long as you can kind of attribute that. Yeah. That that that's it, it. one particular function to it. Do you know what I mean? I just hope I don't have nightmares if I have another wank afterwards. And all of a sudden, <laughs> see, I can only I knew, see that. No gonna, titties, just The problem that. was with this that, that, that it did involve wanking. Yeah. And now Taylor's on cloud nine. It's like, hey. Uh, yeah. I've got a good excuse now. I've got work. I'm going to have a wank in the box. <laughs> so, what, I've, got a sigil, really. I've got a sigil going. I can't not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I'm on my vinegar my, now. My doctor <laughs> said I've got to do it three times a day. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. there you go. Yeah, I wonder if the doctor well, could help me with that. Well, uh, yeah, doc. Yeah, well, Potential. I've got low blood pressure well, anyway. If that's, if that's you, what you've written on your yeah, sigil, sort of, that, oh, oh, how did I get low blood pressure? It's fucking having a well, wank every three times a day. <laughs> this is one of the kind of things that, uh, on about on the chaos uh, magic, like control of yourself. Like, I, I I never really have high blood pressure. I have low blood pressure because I, I tend to not worry as much about certain things. Well, like, like I say, you can like meditate. Us. You don't, I mean, it's you can meditate to kind of get to, um, you know, kick off your sigil as well. I think so, I do in a sort of certain state. No, I think th- on a personal level, I do think that um, if you want to believe it in some way, like I say, you the universe, but there's been times in my life where you think, oh, yeah, this, I need this to go my way. I need this to go my way. And you've kind of, you know, You've had a feeling, or kind of, yeah. you, and then it, it's happened exactly the way you expected it to happen. So, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? But this, it went down to the T, right? And it's like, well, that can't just be coincidence. So, is yeah. it a case that kind of something I did? Did I inadvertently perform chaos magic? Is what I'm saying. Well, I don't know because in in, in another way, like when people hit rock bottom. And they, they they want to move to something like this. Not necessarily is that because if you're at rock bottom, the only way is up. The you only know what I mean? way is so up. So you're only going to go on one path anyway. Yeah. To well, a certain degree. Well, and then you're no, probably you going to think it's like you said that earlier. You've always got the choice. So I mean, the yeah. only way isn't always up. The only way these are you have got well, a choice. There's a rock can, bottom. These are, these rock bottom. Stay where you are. Yeah. Or move. Yeah, try yeah, and claw yourself up, yeah. back up. So yeah. I mean. You know, there is choices. Yeah. Kill yourself. Choice and everything. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. The, the, there's that choice That's as well. One. But you don't <laughs> want to do that because there's a lot more stuff to live well, for. There you go. Um, yeah. What's your thoughts on Chaos Magic? Have you ever um, been involved in it? Have you got a story out there that, um, you know, as kind of um, uh, that you want to share with us and you feel that you can kind of add and give us a bit of more, you know, um, you know, well, what's the word? So a more view on on the whole thing. On What's the whole... your theory on it yourself? If you have a look into it, well, no, there's people out there who've actually done this. There's people out there who've Shit had mode. positive and negative, um, you know, um, experiences. Yeah, and I want to hear if you've got a story, if you've got a kind of a, a kind of an example of when it's you've done it, you've made a sigil, you've something's happened, something's yeah. worked, or it's. It it was exactly what you asked for, and you got exactly what you asked for. Well, I'll keep you updated. Um... And was there an element of chaos that came along with it? Did your life go to shit before you got what you wanted, and did everything sort itself out? And it doesn't happen straight away either. Oh, how do you mean? You, well, it, no, I wouldn't this, expect it to happen overnight. It, it it happens over a period, a little period of time, like two, three weeks, four, yeah, five of course. Months. So it's don't like, expect if you'd start doing this that it's going to happen straight did away. Did you see that in the IT crowd um, where he's like, you know, um, the 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 reach for the stars thing, like, and he's like that going, yeah, I wanted a helicopter and I bought myself a helicopter because I wanted a robotic arm. Yeah. And, and I just really wished for it really, really hard. And now I've got, and it was like he had an accident. No, no, that was it. He oh. wanted to be a tattooist. Yeah. Yeah. And he, he gave himself a tattoo. But his arm got infected and he lost his arm. But as oh, a result, shit. he ended up getting the robotic arm that he, so he wanted. Got what, yeah, yeah, you know, Do you what? know what I mean? I thought about this when I was doing doing my uh, 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 symbol. And it, it was a case of when I did it, it was like, hold on, this can't be just for me. You know well, mean? no, it the point is, you're not allowed, it can't really affect uh, certain things. You're not allowed to kind of, oh, let's say you're not allowed, but you shouldn't be. Um, you should be doing it for yourself. You shouldn't be kind of trying to change things for other people. Yeah, but like you said, uh, there are certain things, like you say, you can't go like, I want to be like, oh, the king of the moon. 
bang bang. Why not? Because it could get in the way of other stuff that's well, uh, who, supposed to go like, forward. Who's that a point? Who, who's, who said you can't be king of the moon? But who who's going to make that call? Who's going to turn yeah, up at your not, house and say it's not right, realistic? Is it? Really? No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. It's not realistic, and it, it's 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 for kind of. But and then it's again, not going to happen. But this is the thing, isn't it? You can say magic, magic. You can say it's it's something, and it's something that you've you've put into motion. Yeah, but the fact is, if you get off your ass and you go out and and achieve those things that you, your goals and ambitions, then you will get the same result, and you can feel like it wasn't magic. You can claim credit for yourself. Well, you can say, well, no, it wasn't fucking magic. It was me. It was me getting off my ass, me getting the job, me getting this, me doing that. Yeah, but that gives you the prompt to go out and actually fucking do it instead well, then, of sitting on your well, ass. Well, then again, it. You, that's that ego play coming into play again, yes, isn't it? So, yes, Well, you anyway, really like I say, if you've had a, an experience or a story, get in touch. We'd love to hear hear about you. Yeah, and I'm on Twitter now, so you, uh, I can <laughs> hey. uh, check it out as well. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll get into that. We'll give you um, the details on Twitter in a moment. We've got yes. some shout-outs first, because we forgot last week. Yes, we did. So we got Double. Double shout outs. I'll oh, give a shout out first to the lovely Jesse G. Woo-hoo. Yeah, Jesse G from the Not So Minnesota Nice yeah. podcast. I was watching, um, do you know what? Um, I was watching uh, The Mighty Ducks oh, the yeah. other day. Yeah. Based in Minnesota. Okay. Right, yeah. And it looks cold, I've got to admit. Ooh, yeah, right, in, down, down in Minnesota way. <laughs> but, you know, I did think of the girls yeah. when, um, you know, when um, I was watching it, in fact. So, do you know what? I wondered if that was big. Do you know, was it like too much hype, the the Ducks? You know, or is it still a team? The Anna, or is it the Anaheim, Minnesota? Yeah. Mighty Ducks. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know, is it? Um, they call them Anaheim Ducks. Yeah, the Anaheim, Anaheim Ducks. Anaheim Ducks. Yeah. Right. Well, the big shout out to Jessa. She, yeah, uh, she said she wanted Jesse. a shout out and she said she always missed me um, putting the, the shout out for the shout outs up. So well, we got I, said give her now, a bi- I said I'd give her a big one and I yeah. said I'd give her a shout out to <laughs> um, Radical. Bo, bo. Uh, big shout out to them. Um, Tennis podcast. Um, also a big shout out yeah. to um, Fanboy and the Hater uh, podcast. Yeah. Deep in History podcast. The Geekdom Fancast. Um, the absolutely lovely EJ, um, Geek Nerd, um, uh, what are these Geek guys nerd. called? Um, the Geek Nerd Tangent Podcast. Oh, right. Um, a shout Geek out Tangent. to Randomosity. Um, Randomosity. Yeah. Big, 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 big shout out to Mr. Shirley Crabtree. Yeah, Shirley. Oh, yeah. I've got to, got to give this guy a shout out, man, because he was listening. He's a, a truck driver. He's called Gareth um, Squares. Right, go ahead. Um, he basically left us a really top comment the other day, basically saying, like, you know, he listens to one podcast a week and um, he picked us and he thought he'd give us, loving give us it, a shout man. out. I can't remember if we did give him the shout out or not. Yes, we did. Did we? Well, well I'm giving him we're another giving shout him out. Another anyway. one. Yes, we um, will. Who else? Very proud to, uh, to have our sponsors on Patreon. Uh, yes. Big shout out to Jay, who's yeah. our king sponsor at the moment, oh, and yeah. trailing Number behind one. is Swoosh. Yeah, come on, Swoosh. Not on saying you. that that's a bad thing, Swoosh. No. We love Swoosh you all the same. He's been beginning. supporting us from yeah. the very beginning, and yeah. you know, anybody it. who you know gives us a bit of support and a bit of help, or even just a courage, kind words of encouragement. We, we love you. So yeah, you know, just um, that it's good enough. Yeah. But like you know, you can help us. Do make the show better yeah. in a lot of different ways. So, you know, um, so there's your shout outs for this week. I'm going to give yeah. everyone a round of applause because yeah. you're all awesome. Yay! Yes. Oh, yes. Well, well treated. Hey, thank you so much for listening. Um, yeah. yeah, if you want to get in touch, you can get in touch via email at neverstraightanswer at gmail.com. You can get us on Instagram at neverstraightanswer. Um, we're also on Twitter at NASA underscore never. You can get me on Twitter at Gaz Duncan, and you can finally get <laughs> Taylor on Twitter yeah. at what's your what's your ter- tag in capitals Taylor Gap at as in the AT. Can't Gap. tell he's new. He'll be uh, changing this. NASA soon. with dots in between. There you go. No, yeah. well, no, it's not. It, that's your that's your name. You, yeah, your tag was when I looked last. There was, was a, um, there was a one on the end one. Yeah, there? there was a one. Taylor at NASA one. Right. There yeah. you go, then. Um, you can find it through the profile, I'm yeah. pretty sure. Um, I'm still in the process about bloody use the thing. 
we, anyway, you can get. Um, well, yeah, well, you'll learn it. Yeah, and yeah, then, yeah. Like I say, add him over there because, like I say, more more the merrier, and he's, yeah. he's a good crack, as yeah. you know. So, um, wow. so we're available on all the pod. We're available on all the podcast Podcasts. platforms. Um, yeah. um, Anchor, Spotify, iTunes. Anywhere you get your podcast fix, yep. like, subscribe, share. Um, it's all good. We'd like you if you could just tell a friend, tell a friend. or your mum, your dad. Knock on your next door neighbour. Tell yeah. them. Tell the postman. Yeah. Wrestle, yeah. Milkman. Wrestle an old lady in the street and, you know, b- yeah. put some earbuds in her ears or, you know, I don't or know. Or do it to a local copper. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. It's all good. Yeah, it is. Um, am I missing anything? Uh, don't think so. And pa- yeah. uh, Patreon. Patreon. We've done Patreon. Yeah. Oh, Dizzy Jam if you want to get a bit yeah. of merch. Um, I'm going to have a look at revamping the merch. Yeah, it's cool. Um, I'm going to change it up, it. getting it up for Christmas time. Yeah. Um, I, that, that also, if there's anybody out there designer wise who'd like to get involved and kind of like yeah. work with us on some um, some cool graphics Designs, for yeah. some t-shirts or anything, that'd be awesome as well. Yeah. We'd love to talk to you. Um, and thank you for people who've been sending us music via email. Um, oh, wow. It's not something that we kind of normally do, but I mean, we're getting so much now that kind of I'd like I'd have a check it out, and um, if we're interested, I'll email yeah. you back. But sorry if we don't, because we do get quite a few emails and stuff. So sorry if we've not we'll had time. We've got day jobs as well, so you know, yeah. sorry about if we've not all, already got back to you. Um, and there's a few people who've emailed about being guests as well, so we'll get back yes, to you two yes, at some point um, in we the future. We haven't forgot you. I know it's just too too much going yeah. on. Um, I've, I've, I need an holiday to get over my holiday. <laughs> yeah. So, um, right. Well, that's been me. Um, I mean, that's the show tonight. Um, yeah. live from the bunker as Ooh, usual. Yeah. Um, I've been Gaz. I've been Taylor. And you've been listening to another episode of Never a Straight Answer. Also joined by Mr. Mikey. Yeah, I've been quite quiet. Today. I know you have, haven't you? Have, you? Yeah. What's up? But a bit of chaos. Do some more research on it. Yeah. So, what do you think? Yeah, man. Generally, quick time because we're running I out of time. Think it, yeah. It's it's a bit new to me, so I'll let, just, you know, I'll let you know you could, next You could time. argue it's a bit kind of like, you know, new age yeah, bullshit. Was, you know what I mean? I was thinking new age crystals and shit. Stick an avocado well, up your ass. How old ass. is it, really? Well, it's old, mate. It's old, old. Really old? I mean, like... I mean, really old. I'm talking about 1800s old or even, even earlier. So, you know... Yeah. Yeah, because it's got to go further. If it's further back, then there could be actually a big thing about it. Well, we'll soon see. We'll, 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 we'll have a look. We'll have a lot more into it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is it. Finding yeah. the finding yeah. the weird stuff out there in the world. Yeah. Right. Like. Well, that's it. Um, that's it for another episode. We'll see you next time. Um, I've been Gaz. I've been Taylor. Peace out. The podcast you just heard was made using Anchor. Ever thought about making your own podcast? Anchor makes it really easy for anyone to get started. It's a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing podcasts. Best of all, it's 100% free. Sign up now at anchor.fm slash new. That's anchor.fm slash new to get started.